I praise you for your valor. Lord Rainier, is something wrong? I felt the resonance. My lord? Is learning to use the heart bit by bit. We must hurry. Hello everyone, this is GE235 providing commentary for Let's Play Kingdom of the Fire of the Crusaders Ragnar's Campaign. And here we have another kill everything mission. Mission. So, um, yeah. So, if you look at the, uh, barrack screen, I got a scorpion and my weapons are my cavalry and the scorpion is the other one. So, yeah. Um, I forgot to change break gears and it's going heavy infantry, but, uh, well, it doesn't really matter that much. Just, uh, keep in mind, just change break gears and heavy infantry that helps us drive a lot. What he does is he does a lot of things to break Anyway, yeah. So, you get Storm Rider, you, uh, you start off with some allies that, uh, are a little helpful. But, um, there's basically different ways. There's uh, three ways, and then it moves this way. You start off, and then there's another way. Actually, I think, I think there's two, but I'll tell you when they start. Anyway, you want to move your units to the because there's still partners coming. And you don't do a lot of your fighting with to protect yourself from the Storm Riders, but more men will shoot through the forest, so you want to take this guy down first. You need to go to the biggest threat. Let's take a damage from the forest. And uh, you also want to have your archers. Keep those healing spells up and take out the storm riders. Uh, your weapons can be used when there are no other enemy archers around, or when all enemy archer units are distracted and in combat. Other than that, you want to keep your weapons in the way. They can't attack enemies in the forest, though, so keep that safe. The scorpion can be used as support by uh, using tremors from behind. But keep in mind that you uh, get to this yourself and you can't have them automatically attack. If you have an attack enemy, it's still in the spell. Uh, in Halo, and not use its strength. And it costs 15 FG. So, um, while you use using Tremor, be sure not to have yourself too distracted. So, yeah, the 6th Force area. If, uh, if you need to, you can have your Scorpion distract enemy units long enough for Regnier to finish up any unit that he's currently killing. Or have him do what he's doing right now and attacking enemy infantry while your allies have them all time. Now, enemy leaders of one of the units in this mission are elf leaders. And if you can see this, she's blocking my big sword with my arm, and I think that's ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, moving on. Yeah. So, enemy leaders of Mormon are elves for this, for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, keep an eye out for other enemy units. Oh, yeah, and your archer shots will not work in a uh, forest area. That while enemy archers cannot hurt you very much while you're in the forest, the enemy archers can also not hurt the enemy while they're in the forest. So you keep in mind. Well, um, you can do a good job of keeping your SP up if you just hit enough enemies enough times. So I keep it going like I'm doing right now. If you uh, don't want to use cavalry, then um. You may have to be a little bit more uh, careful with how you spend your SP because if you do it not careful, you could actually get you know, the out of the SP to heal him. So just be careful.
And, um... Also, no bottle of gas magic spells. You... you want to save that SP for the game. And it's an explosive enemy infantry is a higher level than me. Actually, I think every enemy is higher level than me. higher level than me. So... Yeah, you want to keep you. Constantly getting hit by arrow. Also, pay attention to how your units are, how your other units. Oh yeah, your scorpion doesn't get hurt by archer. Well, it doesn't get hurt too badly by archer fire. So. Um, don't be afraid to send it against the archers. It's just trying to... It won't take... It won't take a whole lot of damage. It won't take much. At all, actually. And then there's an archer in the house. What's your A scorpion's wing is his fire. But, um, Blizzard isn't that effective on it, but if they had, like, a fire attack like Meteor, then he would probably have died. But they didn't, so that's good. Oh yeah, and then in this next batch of units, there's also next wave of your allied units coming in, and they have Meteor. From the Yeah, enemy leaders for like some infantry units are our guys on horseback. So uh, look for those. They can be hard to take down because they they move a lot and uh, your hits don't stun them. But they, they can be a very good enemy. The next wave comes from the west. Um, I guess I'll explain why I speed these videos. Um, I speed these videos just to keep them around 15 minutes. I don't want them to go, like... 20 minutes or 30, um, because it's hard to keep people's attention with a 30 minute long video, and a lot of it is just me whacking stuff, or it's all on this map, so trying to make sure not that it doesn't take too long to watch these videos. Actually, in my uh, in the finale candles campaign, that was uh, like an hour and 30 minutes of footage condensed to 35 minutes, and that was when I had the speed going 400 times regular speed. Yeah, you can. These can be really long battles. Ah, this argument has a magic caster. He's easy to identify. So just take him out. He does block him out there. So yeah, more storm riders for your archers to kill and And more archer units for your scorpion to take out. So yeah, the scorpion doesn't count as a special unit, it's actually a regular green unit. Which I think is pretty interesting, but that's his game designer's choice. I cast darkness for no reason than to see. Then to just cast darkness. There was no particular reason for that, so I'm going to cast that. Yeah, I don't 
Mission's almost over, just got some large units to take out. Actually, that's that's all that's left is archer units. So, yeah. And one paladin unit. Yeah. Paladin's gonna drop. Ah, you see the different helmet style on that leader? He has one sword and a spike helmet. A horn helmet, so. Take him out, and then all serious threats should be dealt with. Regnier would have not lost so many units, would have not be this low on health if I had like upgraded his melee skill a little higher and upgraded him to heavy infantry, but eh, I got along pretty well. And we are almost to the end of this mission. One last enemy unit, and we just gig up on them. And they also cast Meteor. My allies cast Meteor, which is a bit overkill, but eh, whatever. Um, that's the end of this mission. Thank you. Uh, this is D35, signing out. Rate, comic, like, and subscribe. See you guys later. Come here and rest for a while. We move again at sunrise. The Purple Army is heading toward Ecclesia. It looks like Veland is on their tail as well, Lord. Does Veland know of the heart? They've been searching all along, trying to avoid my attention. We go to Ecclesia. Camp here and feed the soldiers well. We will leave by sunrise, so do not disarm yourselves. How did the know of the ancient heart's location? He's never been in the East before. It's what I'm wondering as well. Had the Cadus of Velen first learned of it, they would have never shared it with them. Perhaps a third party. Mm -hmm. The sort of thing we should ask them before we kill him. Agreed.